everyone, this is Dan Play Sun Twenty Four here and guys today we're gonna be reading level to seventeen guys. And if you guys think that I may sound a bit sick, it is because like I usually do, I just woke up and yeah. Anyway, if you guys wanna go ahead and read along, you guys can go ahead and go get your own Bible or you guys can go ahead and go to BibleGiver.com and search up level to seventeen and then there you go. But anyway, let's get started. Eating blood forbidden. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons, and to all the Israelites, and say to them, This is what the Lord has commanded. Any Israelite who sacrifices an ox, a lamb, or a goat in the camp or outside of it, instead of bringing it to the entrance of the tent of meeting, to present it as an offering of the Lord in front of the tabernacle of the Lord, that person shall be considered guilty of bloodshed. They have shed blood and must be cut off from their people. This is so the Israelites will bring to the Lord the sacrifices. They are now making in the open fields. They must bring them to the priest, that is to the Lord, at the entrance to the tent of meeting, and sacrifice them as fellowship offerings. The priest is to splash the blood against the altar at, of the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting, and burn the fat as an aroma pleading to the Lord. They must no longer offer any of their sacrifices to the goat idols, to whom they prostitute themselves. This is to be a a lasting ordinance for them and for the generations to come. Say to them, any Israelite or any foreigner residing among them who offers a burnt offering or sacrifice and does not bring it to the, the entrance to the tent of meeting to sacrifice it to the Lord must be cut off from the people of Israel. I will set my face against any Israelite or any foreigner residing among them who eats blood and I will cut them off from the people for the life of a creature is in the blood and I have given you, it to you to make atonement for yourself on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Therefore, I say to the Israelites, none of you may eat blood, nor may any foreigner residing among you eat blood. Oh, sorry guys. Any Israelite or any foreigner residing you, or residing among you who hunts any animal or bird that may be e eaten must drain out the blood and cover it with earth. Because the life of every creature is its blood, this is why I have said to the Israelites, you must not eat the blood of any creature. Because the life of every creature in its blood, anyone who eats it must be cut off. Anyone, whether native born or foreigner, who eats anything found dead or torn by wild animals must wash their clothes and bathe with water, and they will be ceremonially unclean till evening. Then they will be clean, but if they do not wash their clothes and bathe themselves, they will be held responsible. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to sub subscribe. Make sure to click the like button and make sure to click the bell to be notified whenever I post. And also, guys, if you guys really have been following along on my whole Bible series that I've been go ahead and posting and stuff, please comment below. I uh, I pretty much have been with you all along, and I've watched every single little video you posted, and that'd be greatly appreciated. Anyway, make sure to subscribe, make sure to click the like button, and make sure to click the bell to be notified whenever I post. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.